Hi, I'm Sherry K. Jazzy Gourmet. Given the choice between this and this to make my popcorn, I'll choose this any day. I always use a, well, I guess you could call it a well-seasoned pan, complete with broken handle and mm, slightly charred interior and exterior. People always ask why I don't throw it out. And I say I can't. It makes the best tasting popcorn. Start by pouring in a thin film of oil into your pan. Be sure to use oil that has a, a high smoking point like vegetable or peanut oil. So how do you know when your oil is hot enough? Well, place a couple of kernels into the pan and cover it with a lid. Then heat the oil over medium-high heat. Once the kernels have popped, then you can pour in the rest of your popcorn. Make sure it's only one layer at the bottom of your pan. Cover the pan, pick it up, and give it a little bit of a shake. And then here's the important part. Tilt the lid slightly to vent it. That way the steam is able to escape and you get a lighter, crunchier popcorn rather than a chewy, tough popcorn. After the popping starts, occasionally shut the lid, pick up the pan and give her a shake. But be sure to vent the lid again. Before you know it, you have light, crunchy, fluffy popcorn. And look, every kernel popped. Now, if the thought of venting the lid seems a little bit too tricky, then just start the process in the same way. But this time, cover the pan with a splatter guard. That way, steam can escape and you don't have to worry about tilting the lid. Next, get yourself a hunk of butter and throw it in the pan to melt. For a uniquely nuttier taste, brown the butter. To season the popcorn, pour on the butter or olive oil, maybe some coconut oil, or even truffle oil if you want to get fancy. Then add salt, maybe some grated cheese, chili powder, curry powder, some fresh or dried herbs. The toppings are limitless. The important thing is to make it the way you like it. Hmm, can you tell I like it? 